So hello everybody, my name is Jimmy Life and welcome back for some more The Walking Dead. We're on to episode 4, Around Every Corner. Let's go. Previously on The Walking Dead. I've heard enough out of you, okay, Doug? Now, what the fuck's the problem? Hey! No! Just get in. I'll figure out what to do with you. I was trying to protect all of us. Holy shit! She's stealing the RV! I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do we do? Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. We need to help find a boat. It's our best bet at safety. Okay, but we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. Okay, we'll look for them. I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. We gotta jump! What? No way! Ah! Shit! Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need... Who the fuck? I don't know. But I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. Can't wait for this. The Walking Dead. Episode 4, Around Every Corner. Can't I just hold it? Just for a little while, we're getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can... Not now, Clementine. Maybe later, okay? Okay. How's Omid? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Kenny, how much farther to the riverfront? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. And there'll be boats there? It sure as hell better be. There'll be boats. Have to be. Have to be. It's going to be okay. Kenny knows what he's doing. What the hell? Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Someone's up there! Are you sure? I don't see anything. I know what I saw. I'm telling you there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive! <laughs> if I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Who is this? Is that you up in the bell tower? What the hell was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? It tolls for thee. Everybody, run! Yeah! <laughs> 
city! A little too close, don't you think? Ben! No, Ben, help her! Oh my god, the sensitivity is so low. No! Get her the hell out of here. I'll pit. Move your asses! Oh. oh, give me a fucking break! Wait, where the hell is Chuck? Trouble. We gotta help him. There's no time. We gotta go now. I'm behind. Just go. I'll get the door. Okay? Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We've gotta get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Lady, I ain't the one who's bleeding. Quit it, the pair of you. Gonna bring more of them down on us. I'll see if I can find a way in. <clears throat> right. I want to talk to Ben. Ben. Windows. Think closed. we can get in through one of these windows? Man, I don't think so. Whoever owned this place had them all barred up. Yeah, looks pretty solid. How do you think Kenny's holding up? I don't know. It's. It's like all he can think about is finding a boat. He definitely doesn't want to talk about Katja and Duck, at least not with me. Maybe we should just let him deal with it in his own way. About what happened back there on the street. I know. I don't know what happened. I just froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? Just hear what I'm saying to you. You put that girl in danger again. It won't be walkers you have to worry about. I hear you. I'm gonna go check things out. All right. Right, let's see if I can... Oh. Looks like something was buried here. I wonder what. Maybe it was the dog. I don't think there's much around here. Not thirsty enough to drink that yet. There's a shovel, yes. The shovel is never not useful. Uh, can I? Ooh. No way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. Can I use my, my no wrench? No way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. My no shovel? way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. Alright, okay, I hear you. I hear you. What about on this? No way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. Okay. Oh, really? Aw, uh, fine. I think I want to start digging up God knows what until we find our way into that house first. Okay, so might be a distraction for later. What about the wrench? No way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. <laughs> Enough of you saying that. Oh my. No way we're gonna force that open. Not without making a lot of noise at least. Sealed up nicely. Do you think the dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? Try not to worry. Even if they saw us, they can't get in here. 
we did, why can't they? We're a lot smarter than they are. They're just like dumb animals. They can't open doors. He used to have a pet hamster. One night, he figured out how to open the door to his cage. And when we woke up, he'd eaten half a box of cookies. Hmm. I don't think this is quite the same, Clem. Yeah, right. This time, we're the cookies. Just stay away from the gate, and we'll see about getting us inside the house. Hmm. I'm gonna have to talk to everyone first. How's he looking? I'm all right. You're not all right. You've reopened your wound, you're losing blood, and God only knows what might have gotten in there. It could be infected, it could be... No offense, but you really need to work on your bedside manner. Huh? She's just worried about you, man. Don't worry. We're gonna get you fixed up in no time. Just as soon as we're inside, okay? Okay. Thanks, man. Please go and help Kenny. We need to get him inside now. I'm on it. Just sit tight. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. Huh. Okay, so maybe that triggered something. Let's talk to Kenny. Uh, let's ask about the door first. How's it coming? Found a way in yet? Door's locked up tight. Too heavy to force it without making a whole lot of noise. Maybe there's a better way in. Well, if there is, I ain't seeing it. You think maybe someone's still inside? Nah. We'd have heard from him by now, all the racket we're making. But whoever was here did a pretty good job fortifying it. Nice place to hole up. We can just figure out how to get in. Hey. How you holding up, man? Lee, I appreciate the interest, but I don't think talking about my feelings right now is going to help us get inside this house. Maybe you should have a look around, see what you can find. Now can I use the shovel? No way I'm going to be able to bust through that. Okay, maybe there's... Wait, what? Oh, no, that's for the, that's for the thing. That was for the fountain. Can I get in this shed? No, there's no... Maybe if I look at the doghouse. Just a doghouse. Clementine could fit through the dog. Will we be inside soon? Yeah, not much longer now. I hope so. It's getting cold out here. So I can't use anything on my person to break through this stuff, but... What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. All right. So, where's the dog? Oh. Oh. I get it now. Okay. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. What's buried down there? Nothing. Clem, go over and sit with Krista and Obi, okay? But I want to... Just do what I say, okay? being safe. I don't think animals oh come back. Oh god, the smell. <clears throat> I can't get it off. Okay, that is not Jeez. cool. Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you're... I said I'm fine, okay? Right. Okay. Now we can get through the dog door. Here goes nothing. 
Yes! God damn! You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. Mm. It's no good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can... Oh, there she goes. Uh... Clem, are you okay? Say something! Ta-da! <laughs> good job, Clem. Yeah, way to go. I did good, right? Yes, you did. You did good. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. Uh. Sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. I'm good. I feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. So, when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? Well? I was gonna tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that, and then try to warn us about it? How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. I don't like being followed. All the more reason to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. We need to make sure Chuck is okay. Once it's quieted down outside, we'll all head towards the river. See if we can find him. Deal? Suit yourselves, and I'm not gonna wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. place seems secure at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. Can I help? What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Kristen and Omid need anything, okay? Okay. Right. I should finish checking the house before heading back outside. Oh, I think that's the one we came in through. All empty. Um, oh. I think it's empty as well. I'm not that hungry. Signs I need to finish checking the downstairs. Okay. Probably not the best idea right now. I need to stay frosty. No, no, there's a... Oh, that's the table. Can't actually check it. Where are the doors? Nothing hiding. 
nothing in here. Okay, what about in here? Just a cupboard. All clear in here. Just one more to check. Right. There's going to be something in here. It's nothing. Just uh, nothing. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Nah, just dog food. And there's some whiskey in the back. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee? Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Oh dear. Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Stay here. Is someone hiding in the attic? Kenny? What's wrong with him? Kenny, you okay, man? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh, my God. Looks like duck, don't he? It's just a kid. What the hell happened to him? Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out up here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can, Lee. Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. I can't ask you to do this, man. I'll take care of it like I did before. Are you sure? I guess we'll find out. Yeah. Just put him out of his misery. This must have been where he slept. <laughs> Poor kid. Must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, this could have been Clementine. I hadn't found her when I did. I am sorry. I'm sorry.
We should bury him. Yeah. I'll take care of it. I don't have to do every single one manually. Come on. Okay, good, we're nearly done. Somehow. Oh. From us. Lee, what's going on? I thought I saw something outside the fence. Something or someone. Didn't get a good enough look. The way they move, though. Too fast to be a walker. Could it have been the guy that's been following us? The voice on the radio? I don't know. They didn't say anything. Just stood there, watching. Creepy as hell. Kenny? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee thinks he might have seen someone out there spying on us. Maybe it's that goddamn bell ringer. Man, remember when walkers were what we were most afraid of? Those are starting to seem like the good old days. Well, the hell with this. I'm not gonna let whoever's out there keep us from getting our boat. We've holed up here long enough. I'm heading down to River Street. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. Supplies. We only check the house to make sure it's secure. We didn't really toss the place. We're low on food, water, meds, ammo. We should make sure there's nothing here we can use before we move out. Well, you search it if you wanna. I'm done with this house. We came to this city to find a boat, and that's just what I'm gonna do. Maybe it's not such a bad idea to check the place one I more- I said I'm done with this house! We can do both. Ben, you take one last look around the place. Grab anything that looks useful, while me and Kenny go down to the river to get us a boat. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Uh... Clem, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. 
I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know it. It's just this once. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? That's not how it is, Ben. I need you to stay here and keep an eye on Clementine. I can do that. Well, just so we're clear. While I'm gone, anything or anyone tries to get inside this house, you shoot them. Don't even think twice about it. Understand? I got no problem shooting walkers. Did you hear what I said? Anything or anyone? Good. your eye out for Chuck. He might be waiting for us around here. Yeah, sure. Son of a bitch! That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. hell is going on? I have no idea that someone must be ringing those bells. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Huh? Good one. Hmm. Let's keep moving. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Oh my god. There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. Kenny man, let's just go back to the house and tell the others. Come up with a new plan. This is the plan! It's the only one we've got, and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly helping. Screw you. I ain't giving up that easy. This one might still be salvageable. Seriously? You got a better fucking idea? I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. I think Kenny's losing it. Well, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the episode of The Walking Dead. If you liked it, hit that like button, hit that J to subscribe to my channel. And as always, I will see you all next time.